I'd like to read you some poems by Gerard Manley Hopkins. The first poem is called God's Grandeur. The world is charged with the grandeur of God. It will flame out like shining from shook foil. It gathers to a greatness like the ooze of oil crushed. Why do men then now not wreck his rod? Generations have trod, have trod, have trod. And all is seared with trade, bleared, smeared with toil, and wears man's smudge and shares man's smell. The soil is bare now, nor can foot feel being shod. And for all this, nature is never spent. There lives the dearest freshness deep down things. And though the last lights off the black west went, O oh morning, at the brown brink eastward springs, because the Holy Ghost over the bent world broods with warm breast and with ah bright wings. The second poem is called Pied Beauty. Glory be to God for dappled things, for skies of couple colour as a brinded cow, for rose moles all in stipple upon a trout that swim, fresh fire called chestnut falls, finches' wings. Landscape plotted and pieced, fold, fallow, and plough, and all trades their gear and tackle and trim. All things counter, original, spare, strange, whatever is fickle, freckled, who knows how, with swift, slow, sweet, sour, a dazzle dim. He fathers forth, whose beauty is past change. Praise him. The next poem is called Habit of Perfection. Elected silence. Sing to me and beat upon my whirled ear. Pipe me to pastures still, and be the music that I care to hear. Shape nothing lips, be lovely dumb. It is the shut, the curfew sent, from there where all surrenders come, which only makes you eloquent. Be shelled eyes, with double dark, and find the uncreated light, this rough and real which you remark, coils, keeps, and teases a simple sight, palate, the hutch of tasty lust, desire not to be rinsed with wine, the can must be so sweet, the crust so fresh that come in fast divine. Nostrils, your careless breath that spend upon the stir and keep of pride, what relish shall the senses send along the sanctuary side? O oh, feel of primrose hands, O oh, feet that want the yield of plushy sward, but you shall walk the golden street, and you unhouse and house the Lord. And poverty, be thou the bride, and now the marriage feast begun, 
and lily-colored clothes provide your spouse, not labored at, nor spun. The next poem is called Carrion Comfort. Not, I'll not, carrion comfort despair, not feast on thee, not untwist, slack they may be, these last strands of man in me, or most weary cry, I can no more. I can, can something, hope, wish day come, not choose not to be. But ah, but O oh, thou terrible, why wouldst thou rude on me thy ring-world right foot rock, lay a lion limb against me, scan with darksome devouring eyes my bruised bones, and fan, O oh, in terms of tempers, me heaped there, me frantic to avoid thee and flee. Why? That my chaff might fly, my grain lie sheer and clear. Nay, in all that toil, that coil, since seems I kissed the rod, hand rather, my heart low, lapped strength, stole joy, would laugh, cheer. Cheer whom, though? The hero whose heaven-handling flung me, foot trod me, or me that fought him. Oh, which one? Is it each one? That night, that year of now-done darkness, I, wretch, lay wrestling with my God. My God.